Hello, welcome to Kids Inventor. This month we're going to be building Samuel's dodgeball machine. And I'm really excited because we get to throw loads of dodgeballs at Sean. And I'm a little bit nervous. Kids invent stuff. To build Samuel's dodgeball wall, we need a way to fire out dodgeballs. To do this, we're going to use a set of spinning wheels which can grab a ball and fire it at the players. We'll need motors to make the wheels spin and a way of automatically releasing the dodgeballs. For Samuel's dodgeball machine, we need to obviously fire dodgeballs and to do that we're going to use these wheels, which are actually trolley wheels. And what we're going to do is we're going to put those on some shafts so we can make them spin and fling out the dodgeball. So to power those, we're going to use a motor and the motor is going to connect to the shaft that's going to go through the middle of the wheels. So each of the wheels will slide onto the shaft. We're then going to have the motor spinning it and we're going to have these which are called bearings, which will allow the axle to spin freely and then we're going to build a frame to hold everything using some wood. So we've attached our motors and our wheels onto a wooden frame and on this side we have a motor at the top and at the bottom and we've duplicated that on the other side of our frame and what that means is that when we power up the motors the wheels will turn in opposite directions so that when we place a ball it will fire out through the wheels and into our players. Behind our spinning wheels, we're going to create a dodgeball release mechanism. To do that, we're going to use these actuators, which are like motors that push and pull. And when we pull back on the actuator, it will release the ball and it will slide down this length of guttering. And that will allow the ball to fly out through our spinning wheels. So we're going to fix this big red button on the front of our dodgeball wall and when it's pressed it's going to send a signal to our Arduino which will switch on and off our relays which will be connected to our actuators which will randomly release our dodgeballs. mounted our guttering onto our frame and the plan at first was to put our actuators in front of our balls but we found that it wasn't as effective as putting them behind so that when they activate they push the balls forwards into the wheels and out into our players. So we've nearly finished building Samuel's dodgeball firing wall. And all that's left to do now is to give it a lick of paint before we test it next week. So join us next time when we're going to be testing the wall out by playing a game of dodgeball. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Kids invent stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, stop it. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll...
We love seeing your comments and suggestions. And don't forget to hit the notification button if you want to know about our videos first. Do not press that button. We'll see you next week. Bye.